स्टार्ट द प्रेजिडेंट एड्रेस मेक्स मेन्शन ऑफ द कोड ऑफ डिसिप्लिन एंड दैप्पी इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन विच आर डेवलपिंग इन दी कंट्री दिस कोड ऑफ डिसिप्लिन इज अ वेरी गुड थिंग बट आई एम सॉरी टू से दैट द सक्सेस क्लेम्ड फॉर इट हैज नॉट कम एज येट द एम्प्लॉयर्स इन दी कंट्री हैव नॉट एक्सेप्टेड दिस कोड ऑफ डिसिप्लिन इन इट्स स्पिरिट दे हैव नॉट एक्सेप्टेड इट voluntarily they have not shown by their conduct that they understand and appreciate the spirit of the code of discipline and something will have to be done about it the code of discipline can bring about better harmonious relations it can bring about better industrial relations and it can create conditions in which the industrial production in the country will go up by leaps and bounds industrialists in the private sector and some of the bureaucrats in the public sector do not accept this code of discipline and unless the ministry of labor does something drastic about it unless the ministry of labor does something which would make the non observance of this code on the part of the employers a penal offense i am afraid the spirit of the code would be defeated the ministry of labor has done well in bringing forward a code of efficiency and welfare there is as yet not enough agreement on that code even from the labor's point of view but i am sure efforts to further the acceptance of this code of efficiency and welfare will be continued and if that is done it will be a great help to industrial production in the country in the matter of the bonus commission sir the progress made has been disappointing it was as early as possible january 1961 that the honorable labor minister announced the appointment of the commission the progress made in respect of the bonus commission during the last 14 months has been that its terms of reference have been settled and its constitution has been agreed upon that i am afraid is very slow speed in the direction of the solution of a problem whose solution is so very important the president has correctly mentioned the great objective of securing workers participation in the management and the establishing of joint management councils but the most important thing is that the gains or the profits should be shared by the toilers a share of the produce of their toil should come back to those who toil the acceptance of profit sharing is an old thing it was accepted by those responsible for the industrial truce 14 years back but we are yet to evolve a satisfactory formula the full bench formula of the labor appellate tribunal repeatedly approved and endorsed by the orthodox judges of the supreme court is no solution of the problem it just denies the workers their due share in the profits it was because of this peculiar situation that the need of appointment of the bonus commission was accepted by all parties but what we now find is that 
it has taken them 14 months to decide the terms of reference of the commission and i do not know when we can expect its report the members of the bonus commission should be directed by the government to find an early solution to this important problem similarly i must point out that the delay in the matter of evolving a consolidated scheme of social security for industrial workers is a dangerous thing we have today a number of social security schemes but none of them looks after the workers in his old age the government of uttar pradesh made a provision that the discharge of workers because of ill health or old age age should be treated as retrenchment but we have now the verdict of the high court of allahabad that this cannot be done the result is that while workers in industrial establishments today are covered against the risk of ill health there is no insurance against the risk of old age there is no scheme of gratuity with the industry has to follow there is no old age pension scheme which the industries in the country have to adhere to the result is that there is a big gap or disparity in the lives of the workers who are in employment and those who are out of it particularly those who are thrown out of employment because of old age or continued ill health therefore something should be done about it as soon as possible and there should be some sort of a scheme to see that the worker after meritorious service to the industry got at least the equivalent of a retrenchment relief when he retired due to old age or continued ill health that is a pressing problem we know that in kanpur industrialist have adopted the practice of terminating the employment of workers merely by giving them 12 days notice the working is told that he has been found to be unfit